I used a stock Fox body distributor, actually the one I was uh, using when I had it uh, EFI. And if you'll notice, I'm, using, I'm only using the bottom t or the the second and third one up from the bottom. Nothing in the bottom there. Bottom hole right there. Now I'm coming straight over to the coil. It'll be these two lines right here. Okay, I snuck down through there somewhere. And then I went from the positive to the ignition switch. Still have a stock type ignition switch. One of these wires, I don't know exactly which one it is. So just, you'll have to test that out a little bit. Here's a diagram of your TFI ignition control module, thick film ignition. I'm using wire two and three, the coil negative, and number three is your run power in. I have a one wire alternator on it. Right here it is. Goes straight from here to the solenoid. Right there. And I highly recommend these if you ever need to, I mean, it's just two bolts, a bolt there and a bolt there to take it off. Uh, they work very well. This is, uh... here's the chrome version of the one wire alternator that I'm using. The intake manifold, it's Ellerbrock Performer 289. I think this is a 600 CFM Holly, kind of a new old stock that I got from a friend. So that's why it's on here. Here are the fans, twin fans. Uh, they're contour fans. Uh, you can get them at late model restoration. They put out a lot of CFM. I was using the Mishimoto uh, dual twins for quite a few years and this kept getting hot on me after I put these on there all that stopped so. here's the fan kit that I recommend I'm not only running this on my 89 carbureted Fox body I'm also running it on my 88 GT with the Terminator X kit they put out 30 about 3500 CFM here are the long tube headers they're very old they're headmen, uh, they're rusting out. Uh, well, these are the JEGS equal length headers that I have on order. They'll be in in early May. I hope you come back and see me. I'll make a full installation video on these and show you how it goes. I've got a new set of equal length headers coming from JEGS in early May and stay tuned for that video. I'll do a complete uh, video on the installation of those and see how it goes. There are a few wires going up through the firewall now. Of course, I'll put a little grommet on that. I'm gonna weld up all these holes. Just got the uh, Art Captain welder. And here's another little thing here. I don't, I don't uh, have a heater in this car of course I don't have air conditioning but this is a nice little thing if you want to run it like this your uh, heater tube here you can buy this little U shape I think they're around ten dollars but you can get that pretty easily late model restoration's got it for sure okay here's something I wanted to point out this cable right here if you have an automatic AOD which I have here that is your TV cable also known as kick down cable and you definitely need to get this right here uh, it's an aftermarket uh, cable you'll never be I don't think you'll be able to find an original but that's the way I did mine and it absolutely works great when I step down on it everything the transmission shifts perfect perfectly and it the cable uh, activates 
a lever on the transmission and it kicks down and runs great. That little wire right there is for the temperature gauge and it works. The other one is for another, temp another temperature gauge that I got on the pillar. I had it so I thought I'd hook it up. But yes, you can get your gauges, uh, your dash gauges working. And at the end of this, I'll put a diagram of the uh, cluster, the Fox body cluster wiring diagram. Here's the instrument cluster diagram that I used to get all my gauges working, including the tack. I wish I could have put a bigger overflow tank on this or a stock one, but there's not a lot of room over here, so you can get this type of tank uh, on Amazon or any of the auto places online. They're not very expensive and it works. This car also has one of those high torque mini starters. You can get them on eBay or I think Amazon's even got them. Uh, the big starter. Here's a nice upgrade to your Fox Body Mustang. Lighter, smaller, and a lot easier to install, especially if you have long tube headers. Tap the key. Original engine in there. It's got long tube headers. Little sniper coil. Of course, I told you about the twin fan, big radiator. Where'd that air conditioning go? Stay tuned. You're coming back here. Yeah. Yeah, this pump makes some noise, but it's doing its job. 7 PSI. Yeah, you definitely can hear it. But the uh, Mighty Might had a thumping noise. So, this one's way better. Built really great. Very happy. Now, let's try this again. There's my ground. 
I already uh, know it works now. I haven't started the car, but right. Wow, it sounds real quiet compared to the uh, last fuel pump. Well, it's time. Let's see what happens. Oh, it got a lot louder. It's priming right now. See if it starts. listen to the fuel pump. It makes a little noise, but yeah, it definitely makes a noise, but I, I like it. Very, very good. Still need to put a filter on it. The gas tank is, I've had it cleaned out. I've had it off here recently, so the gas is not that bad. So I'll put a filter on it here in the next day or so. But there you go. It's got the uh, twin contour fans on there. They put out a lot of CFM. The car was overheating until I put those on it. Late model restoration. That's the uh, relay for the fan. Here is the uh, Holly Mighty Might that I just replaced. I have not tested anything or started the car so you'll be the first to see it turned out really good there's the pump uh, preset to seven pounds uh, I just got a welder so I'm gonna be doing uh, I'm gonna be making my own exhaust so stay tuned for that Got an Art Captain 160. Starting to play around with it. Okay. Let's look under the hood here for a second. Very loud. With the header mufflers like that, so that's gonna change soon. So the first thing is let's see if the pump comes on. Okay, I have fans and a pump. See, I think this is a fans. Okay. Let's see if I hear anything here. Nothing. Okay. See that wire right there? That's the ground wire. I got that one. So, just one wire. Thank you. 